the real reasons Fergie and Jaws do a Mel split. Fergie and Jaws do a Mel announced they were separating after eight years of marriage and nearly 13 years as a couple on September 14, 2017. With absolute love and respect we decided to separate as a couple earlier this year, the pair told people in a joint statement. To give our family the best opportunity to adjust, we wanted to keep this a private matter before sharing it with the public. We are and will always be united in our support of each other and our family. What happened to this buff, beautiful pair? They grew apart. The source told E. News that Do Mel and Fergie simply weren't as close as they used to be. They completely grew apart, an insider said. This was a long time coming and they've been trying to sort everything out this past year. Another insider told Us Weekly, they had been having problems for the past year. He moved out around early spring. He has been gone most of this summer filming the Buddy Games 2018 in Canada. Another source told E. News, there wasn't one big fight or final straw. They have a lot of love for each other and for each other's families and there's no bad blood. Fergie herself hinted to Entertainment Tonight Canada that the spark may be gone, noting, Josh and I truly love each other. I mean, it's grown into a deeper thing to where it's like, we're friends. You know what I mean? There's a deep love there. An insider told People, their lives were heading into separate directions and they are often apart because of work. They were too different. Some insiders insist Do Mel and Fergie simply didn't have much in common from the beginning. Josh is very down to earth and a do-it-yourself kind of guy, the source told E. News. He's out early in the morning every day doing normal things like going to the hardware store or taking at cell to breakfast. Fergie's in a totally different world, they have always had very separate lives and not a lot in common, there wasn't a lot of overlap in priorities. The insider added, he was so enamored with her in the beginning that he overlooked things like lifestyle and commonalities. It caught up with them. It just became very clear that they are not on the same page and don't see things the same way. People close to them won't be surprised that this ended, the source told People. A big factor is how different Fergie and Josh are. In the beginning, it was what attracted them to each other and made them so fun to be around. Fergie is fun and outgoing, Do Mel is charming and relaxed. But they come from totally different backgrounds and they wanted different things. They had different views on family. The source told us weekly that Do Mel, the oldest of her children, did not have the same appreciation for the Hollywood lifestyle as Fergie. Do Mel has always wanted a big family but that lifestyle is something that isn't a priority for Fergie. She came from divorced parents and didn't have as normal of a childhood as Josh did, the insider claimed. These differing perspectives may have affected their parenting. Do Mel tries very hard to make sure son Axel is brought up as normal as possible, the source added, claiming Fergie didn't always comply. He felt she wasn't doing normal mom activities, and that made Josh frustrated. He wanted another child. Do a melt oats on their son, Axel, and reportedly wanted another child, but Fergie supposedly wasn't ready to be a mother of two just yet. We negotiated the number of children early on, Fergie told Oprah Winfrey on Oprah's next chapter via Us Weekly in 2012. Two is our number. However, in 2015, Fergie told Allure, I felt that it was either going to be another baby or an album coming next. She opted for the album, but that same year, do a Mel gushed to access Hollywood, I'd love to have another baby hopefully in the next year or two. An insider told People, Josh is low-key and laid back. Fergie is more high maintenance and very focused on her career. He definitely wants more kids and has always wanted to be a family man. They were trying to have another baby as of last year, the source told us weekly. There had been a lot of talk in Fergie and Josh's household about expanding the family he interfered with her career. Radar Online reported that though Fergie was the primary breadwinner in the marriage, she took a back seat to let controlling do a Mel influence her, right down to her music choices. Josh is pushing hard for Fergie to make a much cleaner and clearer break from the Black Eyed Peas so she can reinvent herself as a solo artist without the looming specter of Will. I am influencing every creative decision she makes, an insider claimed. They tried therapy. In January 2015, Fergie revealed that she and Do a Mel attend regular therapy sessions. He's not afraid, she told Allure via Us Weekly of Do a Mel's willingness to go to couples counseling. 
he doesn't feel like he's not man enough. She also opened up about the couple's conflicts to Entertainment Tonight Canada in August 2017, saying that her song Save It Till Morning is about the lover's quarrel that spins out of control. You know what, it's so not worth it, because those things stick with you, she said. I don't really like to fight anymore, it's not worth hurting each other, because we hurt the ones we love the most sometimes, because we feel the most safe. It's just about... Let's not have those ugly words just sitting there for each other, she said. Let's just take a breath. He may have cheated. In 2009, just months after Fergie and Duo Mel's wedding, the National Enquirer via Radar Online reported that Duo Mel enjoyed a guy's night out at a strip club that went way too far. While Duo Mel was building the romantic comedy life as we know it 2004 in Atlanta, he and a dancer who went by the stage name Delilah allegedly hooked up in his hotel room. Duo Mel and Fergie denied the claims, but the dancer reportedly sold her story to the tabloid for $20,000 and passed a polygraph test about the incident. In 2012, Fergie addressed the incident on Oprah's next chapter via Us Weekly when you go through difficult times, it really makes you stronger as a unit, as a partnership. It does for us, anyway. Our love today is a deeper love. We're stronger today definitely because of anything difficult that's happened with us. We deal with it. We communicate. Communicating's the most important thing. Do Mel told Oprah, I'm actually happy that all that happened, because we wouldn't be as strong as we are now. As much anger as I carried about it before, I'm actually thankful that it did happen, because in a lot of ways, it made me straighten my eight asterisk asterisk out. They may have had trust issues. The source told Star via Radar Online that Fergie sent spies to observe Duo Mel at an event in Beverly Hills in October 2016. The insider claimed the spies told Fergie that Duo Mel was flirting with a bevy of women, but when she confronted him about the allegations, Josh swore nothing happened. Radar Online also reported that Fergie made a lot of unannounced on-set visits while Duo Mel was filming the buddy games with Olivia Munt to keep a close eye on him. They were too busy. With Fergie focusing on her long-awaited album Double Duchess due out in September 2017 and Duo Mel busy filming TV series The Unsolved 2018 and The Buddy Games, their schedules may not fit together as well as they once did. In 2015, Fergie told Allure that their work schedules were built around their son and their marriage. We've already talked about how we're going to have to trade off, she said. He's going to have to come on tour with Ansel for a while, and then there'll be a break. He'll take a job, I'll be on set with Axel. You know. In August 2017, Fergie told Entertainment Tonight Canada, the Google Calendar is everything. It's color-coded, everything's got categories, and we've just got to be really organized about our planning because it's really important for us that our son Axel comes first. We're trying to make it happen right now and it's a little bit tough, but we're doing it and we just love him. The source told Entertainment Tonight, their schedules were so busy that it was almost a surprise when you would see them together. But Axel was always on their mind no matter what they were doing. They really had a good dynamic together. They're both kind, nice, good people. They faked happiness for the press. Fergie confessed to people that she and Duo Mel kept up appearances and didn't reveal their split for a long time, despite living separate lives for a while. Honestly. It was just getting a little queer for us with all the romantic questions, she said. We're great friends, we love each other so much, and it just got to the point where it was getting a little weird. There's no perfect time to announce a divorce so we just decided to do it. She added, we just wanted to get adjusted in private. Fergie was the one to pull the plug. The source told Life and Style that Fergie was the one to end the marriage. The insider said, we really thought they were working things out. This is shocking. But Fergie and Josh were fighting a lot. The source claimed that, that in July 2017, the fighting got really bad ahead of an appearance Duo Mel was slated to make for O Living, to which Fergie was supposed to join him. They were yelling at each other, and she never attended. An insider concurred to in touch, alleging Fergie ended things partly because of Duo Mel's alleged flirting with other ladies and partly because she was just tired of everything. Josh was still flirty with women. He'd lean in and whisper in their ears and acted single, the source claimed, adding, Josh seemed like he just needed time to himself. 
Sometimes he would go out to a bar alone. They are both consumed by work, and that has made it difficult for them to spend time together. When they were together, it seemed like plans were always made around their son. She was patient with Josh but she finally called it quits. There may be a nasty custody fight brewing. Fergie insisted to people that she and Duo now have a co-parenting arrangement that works for them, but other sources aren't so sure. Fergie wants full custody of Excel, but Josh isn't having any of that, an insider told Radar Online. They were holding off on filing for divorce in hopes that they could come to some sort of agreement, but things between them are not as cordial right now as they have been in the past. They both know that Axel is definitely daddy's boy. Fergie has been so busy promoting her music, Axel isn't quite old enough to know what is really going on with his parents, but he does know that something is up because he keeps asking Josh, where is mommy? The source added, she is so consumed in her work it is just breaking her family apart even more, but everyone knows that in the end they will come to a mutual agreement for the sake of their son. Could it be a publicity stunt? Despite Fergie planning on dropping the new album in 2015, that never happened. Her single L. 8. Love, released in December 2014, peaked at no. 27 on the Billboard charts and stalled the release of the album. Her next single, M. I. L. F. Dollars, had a heavily hyped video featuring celebs such as Chrissy Teigen, Ciara, Alessandra Ambrosio, and Kim Kardashian, but that didn't help much because the track peaked at no. 34 after its July 2016 release. In December 2016, Fergie dropped Life Goes On, which didn't chart at all. Could the split be a publicity stunt to drum up hype for Double Duchess, which is scheduled to debut September 22, 2017? There is plenty of speculation that it's a breakup album, so that strategy may be working. More reasons to think this separation may not last. Fergie's parents reportedly had no idea their daughter had split with Duo now until it made headlines. Whether this Mr and Mrs. works it out or gets divorced, their relationship was a strange one from the start. Let's take a look back at the unlikely romance between the edgy pop star and the clean-cut thespian. Warning, some of their antics will have you screaming, TMI. It was lost at first sight. Do Mel reportedly first laid eyes on Fergie when a friend of his was over for a barbecue and called him inside to watch a Black Eyed Peas music video. It might not have been love at first sight but it was certainly lust. It seems Duo now was so inspired by Fergie's boom boom how that she made his way into his private fantasies. We warn you this was going to involve TMI. In 2004, the actor told in style via Us Weekly My Recurrent Dream involves the lead singer of the Black Eyed Peas. Oh, my God, I've got the biggest crush on her. God, she is hot. Little did he know that Fergie reads in style and happened to see that very article. I had read in a magazine that he had a naughty dream about me, she told Playboy via People. All my friends knew about him because he had been a soap opera star. I'm not into soap operas, but they told me, you gotta go out with him. Fergie brought up the dream just seconds after meeting him in person but more on that in a bit. He stalked her before they met. Duo Mel's big break occurred in 2003 via NBC's Las Vegas. It was on the set of that show that he finally got to meet Fergie face to face, but the connection was no accident. In an interview with Parade magazine via Sulpici, Duo Mel jokes about stalking his wife in the beginning of their relationship. In the article, he discusses his starring role in When in Rome 2010. In the flick, the Roman Fountain casts a spell on Kristen Bell's character that causes her to be stalked by three different guys. In that context, it makes sense when Duo Mel says, I could relate. That's how I got my wife. I literally stalked her for weeks until she said yes. They say it's not stalking if she says yes. Likely, that was just a joke, but Du Amel also admitted to trying to convince Las Vegas producers that the Black Eyed Peas should appear on the show. Sure enough, the band makes a cameo in season 2, giving Du Amel the chance to finally make a not-so-smooth move on the girl of his dreams. They had an odd first conversation. Many lovers have memorable first conversations that ignite the spark. Not Duo Mel. He reportedly messed up so badly that it's shocking Fergie gave him a second chance. The actor described their first conversation in an interview with Best Life via People after the Black Eyed Peas finished rehearsing.
I was walking out, and all of a sudden she was walking toward me. I was like, oh boy. She stopped. And this is so sad, but I said, in this desperate voice, you're hot. The crush of a lifetime, and that was my line. He said Fergie replied, yeah, I read in style. So how was I in your dream? Do a Mel told me. News, it sounds corny when you say it, but I think she knew I was sort of saying it tongue in cheek because she had already known that I had a little bit of a crush on her while she was there and it was sort of a way of saying something. She already knew. Regardless, his word vomit landed the girl. They kept things fresh by dancing for each other. To keep spice things up, Fergie and Duo Mel love dancing not with each other but for each other. Fergie told Playboy via people that Duo Mel dances for me in private, in some very interesting outfits. We can only imagine. Duo Mel reportedly keeps it classy by dancing to his woman's biggest hits, and she does her part by throwing on a thing or two to he bought me these amazing boots at the Hustler store. They're thigh-high patent leather with a big long zipper. They're hard to get on, but it's worth it, she said. Watching his love scenes turned her on. Duo Mel's role in Las Vegas 2003-08 included steamy scenes with his on-screen romantic interest. Rather than get jealous, Fergie claimed to enjoy seeing her man make out with other women. I know this sounds strange but I like seeing him in love scenes. Fergie told the Mirror via the Sunday Times. It makes me feel better when I'm away on tour to see him kiss other women. It reminds me of our own kisses, and what I have to look forward to. But how does do a Mel feel if a video calls for his wife to make out with another dude? The actor told TMZ she can pick any guy she wants to play her love interest in a music video. I encourage that, he said. They had a two-week rule. Combining careers in the film and music industry is certain to spawn the devilish work schedule that could test even the strongest relationships. Fergie once talked about a two-week rule to protect their marriage, meaning they ensured they never spent more than two weeks apart. For years, that seems to have worked. While filming Lost in the Sun 2016 in Texas, Duo Mel told E! News their two-week rule was a success. She's here with me now. She's staying with me. We've got a house and the whole thing, he said. We're one happy family in Austin, Texas. I can't stay away from my boy for that long or her. We can't help but wonder if perhaps this pair started bending the rule and growing apart. In the midst of their breakup, Fergie and Duo Mel are now forging the new normal whatever that may be for them and we'll keep you posted on all the details.